Hello everyone, welcome back to another 2v2 Warhammer battle. This is going to be Bretonia and the Beastmen versus the Greenskins and the Wood Elves. For my army, I brought um, four Cav units. We have two Knights of the Realm here and here, a Grail Knight, and then I have a Knight Errant in hiding that has discovered a Branch Wraith in hiding. Um, the rest of my army is going to be made up of just a Battle Pilgrim uh, and a mostly men at arms Spear and Sword versions. We have also two Peasant Mobs being led by the Great King Lumen Leon Kerr. I also have two Flying Paladins, which I haven't done that for quite a long time, but it's pretty effective. Flying Paladins, Flying... Um, Captains, is that what they're called? Captains in the Empire? Uh, it's all pretty effective. I just don't usually run them, but here we go. We got a lot of mobility. Um, and then two normal peasant bowmen. Oh, and a spell singer of, well, not spell singer, but damsel of life right there on a horse. My ally has a bunch of ungore herds, two gore herds, two normal minotaurs. They have uh, Kazrak the One Eye, Razor Gore Herd, two Gorbals. And that's everything in here. They also have a normal Sitagar running out there behind the enemy army. We have a Chaos Warhound with pup with puppies. Jesus. Chaos Warhound with poison. And then a Sitagar with great weapons. The enemy Wood Elf player is just a whole bunch of spears and Glade Guard. Being led by uh, Orion. There are also two War Dancers back here with the Azrai Spears. And then, of course, that Branch Wraith. Um, so that's their army. And then the Orc army here is going to be Double Trolls. A Arachnarch spider not the queen i was about to say queen we have mostly orc boys up here in the front and then three black orcs being led by grimgore ironhide and a giant in the center as well so i think the branch with are only casters yeah the branch with is only caster and they're deployed over here and i think normally maybe my, my flyers probably wouldn't be able to see them that's why they're using the ridge but like i i have these knights errant just sitting here because i was gonna try what i'm doing right here is moving down this way to try and get the uh wood elf army to face me like this so then I can just be like, well, let's just go and bloop, 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 right over there. That's the goal, anyway. This Knight Aaron is, or sorry, Knight of the Realm is going to go over here because I noticed these two trolls. I'm like, well, the Knights do pretty good against large creatures, so we're going to run them over here. All the other Knights are going to stay by. I'm going to be moving up my army real briefly uh, because I see my ally moving up theirs. But then I believe I am going to um, pull back here in just a moment because I'm like, well... You know what, let's just go kill this Branch Wraith, because they're moving way back here. I thought they were going to move straight across and get in range of these all these Glade Guard. But no, this Branch Wraith is moving over here, and then they notice that my Flyers are moving over here, and that's when they're like, oh shit. <laughs> and they start moving back to the army, and I'm like, well, it's a little too late for that. I'm also going to send this Knight to the Realm over here. Um, the Branch Wraith is about to not have a good day. Uh, since of is getting shot at by these Glade Guard, ooh, uh, that's their unshielded side. They do have shields. They have, a, I think, a small block chance. Yeah, because they have the, the brown shields there. But, uh, yeah, they're not going to block any of those shots. And then the Beastman player is going to charge up the hill into this dense formation. But I am not ready to engage quite yet. I want to try and take our time to focus off this uh, Branch Wraith first. You see we have her Terrorize right now. So we're going to deal with her. And, again, I pulled my army back a little bit. But, yeah, my ally is going to be marching up. So that means I am going to have to get my ass in gear here soon. I am going to move my uh, Damsel of Life over here and cast a heal spell on their units because they are going to need it. Ungore herds are not really suitable to fight Black Orcs and even Orc Boys. Orc Boys are stronger than Ungore herds. And then you see the Wood Elf player is going to be marching in behind them to try and support against the Beastmen. So I'm like, well, we got to go. My allies charge at the hill. We got to go. So my infantry is going to be going up here. My archers, I think, are actually going to be going over here to try and shoot at the Black Orcs. They are very heavily armored, but... Any damage is going to be good that we can get on them. We have killed the Branch Wraith, and now we're sending all the Knights, including the Nice Errant. The Grunt Knights are coming over here. We're going to try and get behind the enemy army and try and snipe all of these Glade Guard. You can see the enemy try and is, will try to move their spears into position to block me. And I think they're going to start shadowing my uh, mobile crew here with their War Dancers with Azure Spears. We yeah, the front line here. Um, actually, they're doing a, a decent amount of damage because they have the Minotaurs going up the center. I'm sorry, the Gorbals and the Razor Gorbals going up the center with uh, Kazrak. Over here, I did do a charge on the trolls, and they didn't do as well as I thought they would. So I pulled them out, and I'm just going to have them go over here and join me because I really want to shut down all these Blade Guard. And so, like, the Wood Elf is just all about protecting these Blade Guard. And I'm like, I, I can get that. So we're going to try and fuck them up a little bit. So we're going to charge on this wing with our mo mobile squad, getting the War Dancers over here. We're going to pull away three Eternal Guard, and I'm like, boop, 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 boop. and I'm like, well, here we go. And then we're going to charge this side because the War Dancers are going up over here. So we're charging those Blade Guard. I'm going to get my peasant mob in here. We're going to start trying to shut down these Eternal Guard. And we withdrew our mobile squad. Withdrew this squad. And then we're going to come around over here. We're coming around over here. 
And they are just trying to pin down our Cav. I'm trying to not gonna let that happen. Running our peasant mob in to run interference. Coming in with King Lewin and the mobile squad. Meanwhile, my allies' front line has been destroyed because mostly because of the help of the Glade Guard up here, uh, really getting into them. But they are on this Arachnar Queen who is on my uh, damsel, I think. Back over here, I'm going to do another charge, a real charge on these trolls who have routed and just came back as we continue to try and hold all these spears in place. And now you can see I am on these Blade Guard with our mobile squad. We're going to then jump to Orion as we go and do a real charge here with our Knights Errant on these two Blade Guard. And you see the Sysicorus came in here to help as well. Then I'm going to disengage from these trolls because you see we have them um, almost routing, or we are routing, or they are routing. And we're going to pull back over here and do a real charge on these Blade Guard over here. And I'm just doing what I can to just disengage from Spears, kill these Glade Guard. We're going to disengage this man at arms to go up to this Glade Guard. We're now on, on Orion, and we already have him below half health. Because we have King Lewin and double Paladins on him, so yeah. Uh, these guys, I think, are going to go over there. And we're going to sandwich all these Glade Guard between these two Knights of the Realm. And the Rakunar Queen is almost dead because she's getting chased by the Gorbel and some Minotaurs who do some heavy armor piercing damage. Um, so, and the Black Orcs were almost dead, and then they are just, they're just going to leave. Like, the game was not over. The game was not over. Um, but the Wood Elf player left, I don't know, probably about 20 seconds before the end here. And then the Greenskin player left as well. Like, they, I think they gave up far too easily. Because um, they had wrecked the Beastman's front line. My front line is just a holding force. I mean, I did have Grail Knights. I did have a pretty killer flying squad and the damsel still up. Like, I, we probably would have won at that point. Because their Black Horse did take a beating. Um, but yeah, like the Beastman players' front line was mostly all destroyed. They, they did still have their Gorbals and, and some of their Minotaurs left. But yeah, like they, I think they still left a little too early. Just a little bit too early. Uh, but that's going to be a, a, a GG for the Forces of Bretonia and the Beastmen. That Wood Elf player I, maybe was just super frustrated at how I attacked them from multiple angles with a bunch of mobile forces. The reason why I even took that many knights, including a, the cheapy knight Aaron, is just to kill Glade Guard. Because, like, the, the two builds you're going to run against for Wood Elves is either going to be the Durthu um, build with heavy tree kin and, like, tree men. So it's like a heavy armor build and less on the range. Or you're going to come up against a bunch of spears guarding Glade Guard. I built to fight the one that is against the uh, mini Glade Guards and spears. And all you got to do is... It's just hit, you saw what happened. You just hit them from different angles. You pull their forces one way, then you come at them another one. Then they go over there, then you pull out and go in it another way. And then, like that's the thing about being on horses and on flying magical cavalry. Like you can do this, and people that are on the ground without mounts, like Eternal Guard, are going to be slower. So if you're just on top of your micro, you can just bloop, 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 you know just ping pong back and forth. Um, with your mobile force. I'm moving my hands. You can't see it, but I'm doing like a ping pong. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so in terms of kills, Minotaurs are pretty good. The Uncor Spearmen herd, I mean, they didn't they didn't fare well. And they, they wouldn't against a orc line like this. They, they just simply wouldn't. The Gorbals did a ton of damage. The Rakonar Queen was focusing her down. I think their giant was still, yeah, the, the giant was almost full health. They had a troll that was still pretty decently health. Um, and again, I, I think they just gave up a little too easily. But uh, for my forces, the Paladins and King Lewin killed some Glade Guard. We killed the Branch Wraith, but that was on that was on them. They put their Branch Wraith so far out. I'm not entirely sure why they did that. Um, and I maybe wouldn't have seen her if my Knights Errant weren't there because of the Ridge Line, maybe. But that's still super risky to put your caster way out there like that. So we just pounced on her and killed her, and then well, you saw what happened there. Um, Grell Knights got a ton of kills before the battle ended, and the Knights around did okay, I guess, as of the Knights Errant. But uh, yeah, so. Good game to DJ Strange on Clave Arcade and R. Sar. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce that with all those accents. But um, let's go watch a cinematic view of that battle. The moment this Branch Wraith knew, they done fucked up. As soon as I moved my forces started going this way, that's when they gave the move order. They, they knew. She knows. I'm even going to try and cut her off. Because like in this situation, um, seeing them running like this, don't just run in a straight line. Try and like cut them off a little bit first. And then... Signifies the end of this branch right as soon as we landed. You can't escape the king, branch wraith. No one can. Actually, I think they're already terrified. That's why they're running that way. That was pretty quick. And here come the knights of the realm. Yeah, she's, she's not having a good day. 
Where's those Tentacores at? Oh, they already got shot at. But yeah, these black girls are gonna mess these four uncles up. I try to help him with the heal spell, keep him battle a little bit longer because we need them to hold those orc lines. I don't think it helped too much though. That's just so much damage right there. Nice archers you got. And they were like, nope, nope, big old nope. But meanwhile, and they were like, nope. And then here come the Centaurs. Good timing. Although, unfortunately, these Eternal Guard did cut them off. But still, it was, it was a nice try. And yeah, those, those poor Wood Elves. Just having a bad day. That's always a satisfying animation. Woo! Big boys in town. Oh! Oh, oh, oh shit. That man in charge just turned around like, whose shadow is this song? Oh, ninja. Oh, Jesus. Turns out, yeah, that club can send a Minotaur on the ground pretty easily. Good God. Just, that must suck, man. Turning around and then there's this giant in your face. Even if you're a Minotaur, just like, oh, shit. I done messed up. I don't think that Minotaur got back up after that one. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this uh, quick, intense battle. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. I think... I think these guys are getting knocked on the ground. Oh, I think this is a Gorbel mid-roll. I think that's what's happening, because these guys are getting knocked away. That's cool. Take care, everybody.